Hello and welcome to Wilcom's video short series for Embroidery Studio E4.0. Today I'm going to show you how to uh, create a user-defined split in the Embroidery Studio E4 program. On my screen here basically I'm going to navigate up to the top. Here is my uh, user-defined icon here. Um, as you highlight the icon it'll tell you what it is and then you'll get a drop menu giving you some information about this. This feature is set up to create custom split line effects for you. And as soon as I left click this first, I am in the user defined mode. I'm going to navigate uh, to the left here and I'm going to choose a complex fill stitch. And I'm just going to do a, a shape of what looks like a, a tree. Okay, and as I navigate and make my branches, it's really quick here. And as I finish this off here, I don't have to end where I start. This is a closed shape item, so I'm going to press enter. And I do recommend also watching the lower left side of your screen uh, for your prompt bar because it will be either asking you something or telling you to do something. Right now it's asking me to enter point one on boundary two, which would be a donut hole inside the shape. I don't have one, so I'll press enter for a second time. I'll enter my entry point and my exit point and my stitch angle. At this particular point here on my prompt bar, it's prompting me uh, to enter my cut lines or my um, lines for my input that, that'll basically uh, do needle penetrations. So I'm going to go in and just going to put a line in like this. Okay, that's going to be enough for me. I'm going to press enter. Okay, and I'm going to press enter a second time to finish my shape. I'm going to navigate here up to my select tool and I'm going to change the color of that on the screen here. So now I've created uh, split lines here for my particular shape. Now those can be done with either the tatami stitch, they can be done with the input B as well as the input A inside the program. If I were going to use the input B, the column B method, um, I would just go in and let's say I'm going to do a log or something like that. I'll just go in and enter my shape like this, press enter, and I'll go back to the start, I'll make this a little wider. Once I press enter here, now again, on the lower left side of my screen, recognizing my prompt bar, which is asking me to put my user to find split lines in. At this point, I'll start here. Go down. Okay, I'm finished, so I'll press enter to tell the computer that I'm uh, that I'm that I'm finished with that. Again, I'll press enter for a second time. Okay, once I do that again and change my colors here, you'll see the user the split lines here. And those are needle penetrations. Okay, it gives a very, very nice effect. Okay, if I'm going to use the input A method, I can use those also in this manner. I'm going to press enter and again the system will ask me for my split line I will enter my split line once I'm completed I'll press enter for the first time and enter for the second time as I change my color here shows you what that looks like so here's the user defined split again here's my tool for it here up top and I showed you how to use the user defined split and the Tommy method, com, column B method as well, as well as the column A method. This is going to do it for our little video short. Thank you so much for your time. And as always, please visit, visit us at www.willcomamerica.com. Thank you.